All right, Kevin. So the good news is here, buddy, that that setup's better. It's up there off the inside of your left heel. And then the main thing we're looking at, though, is a downswing plane. And the first thing I point out to you, compared to where we started last week on the video, it looks like you're still above the plane about the same amount as when we started last week. But remember now, if you'd straightened your feet up last week, like here, your right foot goes this way, your whole right side goes this way, the club's on the right side of your body, it would have been over here, is where you started last week. So even though starting out here on the right today is the, it looks like, oh, it's not that much better, it is quite a bit better than what you started with last week. And so then, as we went through the session tonight, from the face on angle, it looked better because your arms were extended a little better and your hands are turning over a little better. And you're much more behind the ball at impact. So that's great news. And then the driver looked pretty good, still above it a little bit. But again, the ball flights have been pretty good, like you've been saying, with the driver. And I think that's fine to use that Nike rather than the, the burner. So like we're seeing with the driver, a little bit above it. And then here you're nicely behind the ball with that driver. Those hands are turning over better. And so the main thing tonight is I just wanted to see you get more and more on that line. Get better and better with it. Same medicine, just a bigger dosage of it to get more and more used to it. So it's a little closer, and then here's the best one. Good, good work, buddy. Right there. And then just for fun, and to kind of help your dad be able to tell the difference like he asked about. See, you want to be dead on that line. If your eyes are over here, see, now you're looking down. Jeff? Yeah, you want to be on this line somewhere. Like, your eyes would have to be on the ground if you're on the, to really see that line properly. Then when you're at, on his toe line, you need to be about hand height, which is where the camera is. And then if you're going to be up here at his height, then you need to be right about here with your eyes. Okay. Right on that line. So you need to be standing behind his heel line a little bit to actually see it best, and that's about where you were. And then you could really see this contrast that you're about to see here. Down the line beautifully. The ball's good instead of inside out. Outside in is the bad stuff. All right. And again, like I said, I think it's smart to do that just every once in a while. Make one or two practice swings. Yeah, so it helps you learn the contrast. Kind of like porridge too hot, porridge too cold, porridge just right. It helps you feel the contrast. It helps you feel the right stuff. Doesn't know. Look, look at Google Earth. And well, Google Earth, the map. Well, you just type in the name of the course on Google Earth, and it hones in on it right there. And you can look around at it that way. And then also, you need to know the, the best thing to know is the depth of the greens. And I have a sheet for that. So let me write that down to email that to you. Because a lot of the courses you play, I have the green depths. So even though you don't have a full yardage book, like you do for metal links, you have at least the depths of the greens. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of those on this thing. Yeah, I'll get them to you. That's a great question.